Next day, today's challenge to fit the motor. There's the motor. What's going on there? Right, I found this rusty old piece of steel. Um, I'm going to use this to bolt my motor to underneath. Um, it's quite thick. <coughs> However, yes, it does look rusty with the uh, electric drill. I'm going to clean it up, cut the six inch square what I need. Um, I'm going to either flappy pad it back to metal to get rid of the rust, or I'm going to clean it best up with an electric wire brush. Then I'm going to put um, rust converter on it. It's going to get painted anyway, so I basically need a six inch square, that's all, to mount the motor. Um, what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to show you all the crappy um, equipment I'm using. First of all, I've got a cheapo pillar drill which I paid £20 for. I've got a 50 year old bench grinder, um, all of them are irrelevant. I have got a little MIG welder, gasless MIG welder, 90 quid off eBay. Not bad, a bit spluttery. Um, it doesn't feed very good, but it does, you know, you can get a good weld with it. Um, one mask, and I'm running out of welding rods, I've stored them some. Um, obviously, you've seen the other welder. Um, wire brush, grinder, um, and just various bits of metal. Just... <sighs> and there you have it, one shiny piece of rusty steel, if that makes any sense. Use the floppy pad on the angle grinder, it's come up pretty good. And that, and that there is roughly where it's going to sit, underneath, for the motor to be bolted to. Hopefully. Well, that's the motor in. I wasn't going to do a um build video this was just going to be the trial but yeah we've got the motor in that took about three hours believe it or not um, that's the steel plate what I welded in and the chains on now the motors under there um, the plastic tray what I've got the batteries in it was believe it or not two lap top lap stands like bits of plastic um, and it just absolutely fit perfect. Well, two of them did, which I had lying on about under the bed. So I chopped them, um, cut them in half, joined them with a steel plate. And now I'm on with all this electrical gubbins. Inside there, or in that big hole, is a speed controller. Um, it's all fused down. Batteries are linked together. They're not fastened in permanently though yet, these charge port on the on and off switches there it's going to have a key switch there and I've also run two cables up splitting the circuit uh, and it's going to be on a, a control panel somewhere I don't know if it's going to be fitted on there or up there I don't know it's like a, a kill switch right a bit more on the wiring um, through the center of here there is a hole which I have thread some cables um, one's going to be for the brake light switches and the other one is probably for a horn. Um, it runs straight through the centre of here and it comes out at the bottom. Right down here. Um, there you go. So yes, um, that's my plan anyway. Right, little update. Well, it's not an update for you, it's an update for me. Um, I've attached the existing rear mudguard um, and back light off the little motorbike. Um, it's bolted here, it's bolted there with a like a spacer, a metal spacer and a bracket going up that to strengthen it. Um, most electrics are done now. I'm just on with making the deck uh, for the top, made out of some plywood where I found in the shed lying around. Just cut it, just marked it up where if to put some um, some screws in hold the deck on it's going to get uh, anti-slip sticky back tape on it black
Well that's the deck board done. Not too bad, not quite finished though, I've just got a little piece to put in the front. Um, I like I say I've used like inch plywood. <coughs> put that non-slip sticky tape on, which is pretty good stuff. It is sticky, very sticky. Uh, round the edges, I've put this rubber strip, which I had in my shed, and some stainless steel screws. So, a quick walk round. It's quite large this. Still got a lot of electrics to do yet. We've now got working brake lights. I've managed to put some micro switches in here, one in that one and one in that one. It's all linked up with all gubbins and wiring. So now when you turn it on, you've got your light, you've got your front light, you've got your back light, and when you pull that, you have brake light. And also on the other side. working brake lights. Jobs to do before the next video. I need to put a stand on it. I'm also changing the back wheels because I've just realised or found out that the hub is not central to the sprocket so the chain is going tight and slack causing it to make a funny noise and for the back wheel to bounce so I need to change that. I've got another motorbike I'm going to swap the wheels and hopefully that's going to cure, cure the problem. Uh, I think they're blue though, the wheels, so not a problem. So yeah, um, not happy with that back wheel. Bit of a bummer actually. Um, thinking what else jobs is to do. Oh, and I have to put a, a voltage meter on there as well, like a little dashboard to tell you how much power's in. Battery. That's it, join me on the next video. Hopefully it should be finished.